thing that can give us superhuman strength sounds familiar with popular science fiction, right? Thanks to advancing research, the fictional scripts can soon become a reality. Yes, you had it right. A top genetic scientist at the Stanford University has claimed to have made a groundbreaking superhero survived by the DNA code of Olympic athletes and can help transform humanity in the coming years. According to Yuan Ashley, professor of medicine and genetics at Stanford University, the superhero protection against three of the top ten leading causes of death. Talking about the breakthrough treatment would deliver the blueprint of ideal cells from men and women whose genes are more disease resistant than those of the average person. Not just that. It will also have an instruction manual to help the body repair, tweak, and even improve its own versions. A single leads to a body-wide genetic upgrades that would cut the risk of premature death in some adults by as much as 50 percent sounds too good to be true don't want shalom given all praises honor and glory unto yahweh bashim yahweh shai bahashim raka kodash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone peace and salutations unto the akiam the brothers pushing this truth Shall we four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever? To be scattered, the speck of Buddha's lights will be scattered among the heathen. I say shalom, and I say shalom unto the few and faithful Aquat, the few sisters listening and learning. This is your brother Yerushalam from the GMS Prophetic Vibrations Camp, out of Trinidad and Tobago, coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Raka Kodash. And this video is going to be entitled corrupted flesh all right Super, superhero waters all right and and hiv waters all right you know because this devil this devil is really pulling out all his stops all right you know as they say in the book of revelation chapter 12 verse 12 they say roughly paraphrasing you know the devil is going to come down with great rat all right and what most people don't understand you know is that these waters are part of that rat as part of the sword all right you know the needle is a baby sword all right and with that you know a sword does what a sword destroys it damages all right it might seem at some point in the start to have some benefits but in the long run it's no good for you all right you know because now it's not it's not just um they're not just pushing waters now for that thing but they're pushing the waters now giving you promises promises of what promises of miracles you know of lying wonders right promises that you could be a superman all right a superhero all right just like what they show in the movies all right which in the movies we know we know is is jakes are the real the real superheroes you know according to the bible you know the men of the lord are the ones who gonna have superpowers so this devil on the left hand side is trying to mirror the right hand side as usual all right and and basically with this new this new um waters now all right they're basically saying that um they, they're taking the the blueprint genetic blueprint of olympic athletes all right who, who are what who are mostly jakes all right but the scripture say the scripture says that um that israel israelite and israelite men are gods all right psalm 8 2 and 6 john 10 and 34 all right you know that's what it that's what the scripture says all right that's what the scripture says scripture also says um one one nation will be stronger than the other all right let me get that in um let's get that in genesis the 25th chapter and the 23rd verse all right it says it reads and yahweh bashim yahweh said unto her said unto who rebecca two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels and the one people shall be stronger than the other and the elder shall serve the younger so this is the reason why you know we have so many olympic athletes you know who are jakes you know who outperform you know the 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 the, 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 the um the um competitors of the other nations all right even you can even just a testimony is just at the end of the race you can see um you know the jakes win they're still on their feet 
Whereas other nations like either might stay, they be on the ground, you know, gasping for breath. Alright? You know, so it's, it's clear. You know, they, they want our abilities. Alright? And they can't get it on the right hand side, so they couldn't to the left hand side. And they, and our people our people are foolish, our people just keep on following after this devil, you know, and 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 watching up, you know, you know, taking that thing, okay? Getting those waters. Alright? And that waters leads to what? The corruption of your flesh. Because each and every single one of us, you know, we have we had a certain instruction built into our DNAs. You know, especially for Jakes. Jakes is, is all that really matters to our washroom or shy anyway. You know, and we have a certain blueprint in our bodies and our genetics. You know, that's why that's why we always used to, you know, in the past, even in the book of Numbers, chapter one, we declared our pedigrees. Alright? Numbers one and verse eighteen. Alright, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families, the pedigrees. Alright, it's going into your, your genetic lineage. Alright, through your father, your paternal lineage. All right, so and they de and they declared, and they declared their pedigrees after their families. Each family, you know, has a lineage, a pedigree, right? By the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from twenty years old and upward, by their poles. All right. So that's the importance that the, the pedigrees is what going into to what DNA, genes. All right. Strong's H thirty two oh five. Ya lad. Ya lad. Alright, it says it says to bring bring forth begot gender. Alright? To be born. Right? And and to be to, to get that, you know, you have to um you have to get that from your from, from your parents. And you, you you inherit your genetic material from your parents, mainly from your father, which determines your nation. All right, and also some contribution from your mother as well. All right, you know, and that's that's just clear in the scriptures. All right, so now, you know, this devil wants to corrupt. You know, he want to corrupt the earth. All right, that's what it's about. You know, the earth, the earth was corrupted before. Right, it's not new under the sun. You know, and and through the spirit, you know, is this devil was the one who was doing it. Alright, this devil was this devil, you know, Esau, the serpent. Alright, he was the one who was corrupting back then. Because even now they're finding um remains of animals, you know, who were killed during the period of the flood. Alright. You know, that has mixed DNA. Alright, mixed DNA, mixed genes. Alright? Between animal and man. And this is what this devil is doing again today. Alright? Mixing humans with animals, you know, taking out strands of DNA, you know, from a certain animal and replace them, the strands, you know, in a human, right, to get certain characteristics, strength, you know, and, you know, and obviously there'll be other, there'll be going to be other repercussions as a result of this. So let's get a definition of um, GMO, right, it says GMO, it reads um, genetically modified organisms. Right, can be defined as organisms, plants, animals, or microorganisms in which the genetic material, the DNA, has been altered in a way that does not occur naturally by mating or by natural recombination. So, not by not by what you heard from your parents. Okay. You know, and there's a big drive. You know, to you know, of course, we know we have a lot of GMO plants. You know. And microorganisms, including this thing, all right, that's going around the earth right now. But there's also GMO people walking around, all right. There's an article from the uh, the New York Times that says genetically modified people are walking among us, and so far they're just fine, you know. So they're encouraging this thing, you know. This then and this is going into the um the CRISPR Cas9 technology, which is the mRNA technology, all right? Genetic modification. America needs to sober to it needs a sober debate about the pros and cons of CRISPR instead of a paranoid ban on the technology. So that's the devils they're pushing their agenda. Alright. 
So basically, this just goes into um, genes being edited while when they're in embryo stage, status, right? Injected different DNA being injected into into eggs and to embryos, all right. So, so let me read from here. Let me read from here. It says, um, but other people reacted with shock. In fact, let me read it from up here. The researchers did not ask the Food and Drug Administration for permission to try out the procedure. Only after their their patients started having healthy children did they share the news that it seemed to work. So they were experimenting on people without their knowledge, right? Once the word got around, would be parents streamed into clinics to try the procedure themselves, all right? But other people reacted with shock rather than excitement. Our cells generate fuel in miniature factories called mitochondria, yeah? And each mitochondrion carries its own small set of genes. The New Jersey fertility doctors might have created children with a DNA of three people, not two, which is an abomination in the sight of the Lord. Right? The Lord said, um, um, when a man and a woman come together, the, the two become one flesh. All right? So where, where is that third person coming about, coming from? All right? The Lord never spoke about a third person. So this is, this is wickedness. All right? This is wickedness. You heard about GMO animals. Right now, the Chinese army, U.S. army, and other armies now pushing, you know, super soldiers and DNA modifications. All right, you know, carnal. These are carnal people. These are devils, right? And we know, we know in the spirit, we know that the true power, the true modification lies in spiritual power, right? And Lord, Lord, the spiritual body that Yahweh Hashem Yahshua has given us, gonna give us Lord willing, you know. And, and but this devil is is carnal and he hell bent on you know on on achieving the promises. That promises to Israel, right? You know, in a can by carnal means, you know, and willing to destroy Jake, all right? And Jake is just buying it up. They're just lapping it up. Two thirds of Jake, that is, all right? So let's go to Genesis chapter 6 and verse 11. All right? It says, The earth also was corrupt before the Most High, and the earth was filled with violence. You know, that, that second part is just a clue. As to who was ruling the earth, who, who was corrupting the earth, all right? You know, and that's Esau, 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 Edom, the man of violence, all right? You know, Habakkuk 2 and 4 go into that, okay? So the earth was corrupt, all right? And the Most High looked, verse 12 says, and the Most High looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, all right? For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And this was in the time of Noah, all right? Before the Lord did the reset by water, the first death. You know, first that was by water, the second that is going to be by what? Fire. All right. So the Most High looked upon the earth and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. You know, all flesh was corrupt. All right. You know, it's nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes, I believe, 1 and 9 says that. All right. So this happened before. This, this, this genetic modification, you know. Maybe by different means, but it happened before. Mixing up different flesh. Alright? You know, on un unholy thing, an abomination in the sight of the Lord. Alright? Alright? And, and <laughs> verse 13 says, and, and the Most High said, said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them. Alright? And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Alright? You know, the earth filled with violence because, you know, this is going to be unlike anything you ever seen. Alright? You know, a lot of people talking about, you know, um, zombification to come as a result of these waters. Alright? Anything is possible at this stage. Alright? When you change the blueprint of your Abashim, your Shai, anything is possible. Alright? So the corruption all right, and violence is going to come. Alright? It's going to come. It's going to come. That's why it says in the book of Matthew, um, chapter 24 in fact let me just let me go there book of Matthew chapter 24 around verse 20 verse 21 it says for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be alright 
and except those days be should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's save sake, those days shall be shortened, because you're gonna have all manner of abominations, alright? You're gonna have man mixed with beasts, alright? You're gonna have these so-called super soldiers, alright, you know, who DNA been modified modified, you know, in addition to the technologies, the wicked technologies that we saw be bringing, alright? This is what's gonna to come to pass. Alright, so let's let me go into um let me go into corrupted um let me go into one of these words here, these um line here, I think believe line twelve. Alright. It was corrupt, right? Let's go into some of those words there. Shaz um Strong's H seventy eight forty three Shachath. Right? To destroy, corrupt, go to ruin, decay. You know, and this just reminds me of um the movie um Lord of the Rings. When the um when um the wicked wizard um Saruman you know created the, the, the Urukai, you know, the because the, the orcs were basically um spoiled versions um of the of the elves, you know, they were mutilated and spoiled, alright? Through what through prop through manipulation, you know, manipulation of what the DNA and, and so forth. Alright, they were they were spoiled, they were corrupted, they were injured, alright? They were perverted. Alright. They were mad. They would they they'd start, they would decay. Look at their flesh. You can see it in their flesh. And that's just a representation of what's gonna happen for those of you who take the waters. Alright. So going back here. Alright, um, it was corrupt for all flesh. Had corrupted his way, right? All flesh corrupted the way, okay. And that word way, I wouldn't go into the system, what the course of life, you know, the method of doing something, you know, doing what wickedness, you know, making changes that Yahweh Shem Yahshai didn't sanction. You now, and this is all part of the wicked, the wicked um science, all right? It's part of the wicked science. What did, what did, what did the Lord tell um? What did the Lord say to Timothy? What did, what did he say? What did he say to Timothy? Um, Paul, First Timothy six, and verse twenty. He says, "O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so called. Right? These oppositions of science, saying that they can make you into a superhero, a superman, saying that they could cure you. Right? You know, when when." You know, when it, when we know first of all it is contrary to the law of Yahbashim Yahshai, according to Leviticus 21 and 5, make no cuttings in thy flesh. Okay? You know, this is devilry at the highest level. And Yahbashim Yahshai is going to right these wrongs, these abominations. Again, that's been done against him. Alright? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24. And verse 21, it reads, My son, fear thou Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, alright? And the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. Why they said fear Yahweh Bashim Yahashai? It means to be what obey. When you, when you fear Yahweh Bashim Yahashai, you obey his laws, alright? And his statutes, okay? Which say, don't do these things, alright? So the Lord said, avoid them which given to change. You're changing what? You're changing you. Changing you, changing who you are as a person. Alright? And that's going into your DNA. Alright? So the Lord say what? Stay away from them. Um, Psalms 14. Verse 1 it said, it reads, The fool had said in his heart, There is no God. Alright? Because if they if they believe believers of the Lord, the Lord said what? The Lord said, Do even make seed? But here they are making making human beings and babies. From three parents instead of two, all right, by genet by injecting genetic material, all right. You know, the Lord said, um, they are corrupt, they have done abominable works. There is none that do it good, all right, and that goes for two thirds of our people to follow now for the, this wickedness, all right. Yahabashim Yahshai looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek the Most High. Right? Lord looked down, you know, and that's when Yahweh Shai comes. Yahweh Shai is going gonna, is gonna to look for, for those with the faith, you know, 
you know, will you find faith on the earth? That's roughly paraphrasing because there's no faith, all right? They, they're seeking the way, ways of the wicked and say, instead of the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and his righteousness. Verse 4 says, uh, verse 4 says, actually, I read from verse 3, it says, they are all gone aside, they are all together become filthy. There's none that do it good, no, not one, all right? Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Right? Who eat up my people as they eat up as they eat bread and call not upon Yahabashim Yahushai because they deceive any people, the two thirds of Yahabashim Yahushai. You know, and the Lord's people are his jewels, a special portion, and they're going to pay for it. All right, verse 5, you know, it reads, There, there were they in great fear, for the Most High is in the generation of the righteous. Generation going to what? Genes, DNA. All right. Alright? The Lord, the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahusha, is in generationally righteous. So our very genes, alright, our very lineage, alright, is, is ordained and, instru and his instructions from the Most High. You know, to be a, a holy people sanctified for him. Alright? So how dare they change that? Alright? How dare they corrupt, corrupt the flesh of Jake? You know, and, and Yahweh Hashem, Yahusha, is going to destroy, the slain of the Lord is going to be many. Alright? For this abomination all right when you think about generation it goes into posterity all right in fact let me go into that strong's h 1755 door door and the form just below that door door yeah it says um period generation habitation dwelling right that's that's the different generations all right what was what is brought down from generation to generation in you know in israel all right the same genes the the, the, the paternal genes to make you what an, a hebrew israelite all right posterity all right See if I can get this. Posterity. All right, the future generations of people. All right. Uh, the descendants of a person. Look at here. The God offered Abraham a posper posterity like the stars of heaven, which is what? Descendants, heirs, successors, offspring, children, progeny, seed. So they're corrupting the holy seed. Alright? They're corrupting the holy seed of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay? And that's a good seed. Because the parable of the seed, right? We know the devil came and sowed his wicked tears among us. Alright? So they, they tried to sow the tears among us during the sword slavery times. Alright? And now they, they're seeking to corrupt the holy seed now. Alright? They're seeking to corrupt the holy seed. That's what this is all about. That's what all these waters is all about. Alright? Um, well, let's go to Psalms, Psalms the 53rd, 53rd uh, chapter, verse 2. It reads again, The Most High looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand that they seek the Most High again. Every one of them is gone back. They are all together become filthy. There is none that do it good, no, not one, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat up as they eat bread they have not called upon the most high you know you know they they, they destroy jake you know and laugh about it all right the abashim yonshai will have the last laugh this is first corinthians chapter 15 and verse 38 It reads, but the Most High giveth, giveth it a body as it had pleased him, right? And to every seed, his own body, right? You know, every seed, all right? And that going to the seed of men, the seed of different nations, right? The seed of animals, all right? All the seed is different. It's not the same, okay? Verse, 30, verse 39 says, all flesh is not the same flesh, all right? But there's one kind of flesh of men, 
all right another flesh of beasts okay another of fishes and another of birds so they so they they flesh is not the same and it shouldn't be mixed all right human beings have have, have the same flesh all right you know that's why an Israelite man can mix with a, a woman of the other nations, right, and produce what an Israelite child, right? But mixing, mixing, even mixing with two and three and four different people, that's an abomination inside the Lord, right? But there's one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, so they mix in the flesh of men and beasts, another of fishes and another of birds, okay? This is what they're doing, and this is what they did in the past. Alright? Because there's nothing new under the sun. Is there nothing new under the sun? It's Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 9. It says, The thing that have been is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. So this is not new. Right? Which is why we have we have we have um we have we have um different stories of sent at half man, half horse, half man, half goat. You know, they are different abominations in the sight of the Lord. Alright? Let's get the book of um, Jude, chapter 1, verse 7. It reads, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. This is talking about what? This is talking about uh, the ABC people, but... It also it also is wickedness, right? Are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. All right. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. Is talking about this def defiling the flesh in terms of mixing different DNA, different flesh, right? Despise dominion, which is dominion is what the the of your Bashim your the, the power of your Bashim your All right. The, 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 the sovereignty of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shine is law and speak evil of dignities alright you know in scripture say, say um, this devil you know he saw speaks out against the most high you know alright but Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is in control you know so all these things are wickedness all these things are evil alright just as Sodom and Gomorrah was involved in bestiality you know, AB, the ABC people, all right? I wouldn't say the word because they'll strike the video, all right? But, um, you know, this mixing of flesh, defiling the flesh, all right? Defiling the flesh. All right? Strong's G3392, me I know. Me, I know. Right? So, um, second entry is to defile, pollute, solely contaminate soil. To defile with sins is not only talking about ABC, but also about genetic defi defilation, contamination. Alright? This is the level of evil that these devils are about. So let's go back to 1 Corinthians 15. Alright? And verse 44. Right, it reads, It is sown, and this is talking about the seed, right? It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body, right? There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. All right, so this natural body will be sown into a spiritual body when the Lord will and when the Lord changes us, right? In a, you know, in the snap, at the snap of our finger, He changes this, this natural body. But this natural body is not supposed to be corrupt. This natural seed, right, is not supposed to be corrupt, right? When the, when, when the, when the, um, that's going into the parable of the sower, all right? The seed is, is sown a righteous seed, all right? The, so, the seed of Israel is sown a righteous seed, all right? So when the Lord come and the angels come to actually reap the crop, all right, which is the elect of the nation of Israel, all right? It must still be a righteous seed. It must be defiled. And that's the point. And that's the reason why this devil is coming in, coming in with, the, with the heaviness that he's coming in with. With the, with, the, with the speed. Operation warp speed that he's coming with. Alright. That's the reason why. 
it's soon a natural body and raise a spiritual body. So this it is is it's not supposed to be corrupt. Alright? You see the lineage that is. Now we know the flesh is corrupt. You know, and, and that's understandable. But that lineage, that DNA lineage, that mustn't be corrupt either. Alright? Let me go, let me get um Book of Matthew chapter 9 and verse 37. Right, it reads, Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Alright? You know the harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. You know, and and that's, just, that's just going into the harvest. What? And where you harvest and you harvest and you seed. Alright? You know? I like to get the, the part um, where the Lord was talking about in the seed. Let me see if I can find that. Bear with me a moment here. Matthew 2, 10 and 25. Yeah, so this is what they did. Matthew 13 and 25, it, it, it reads, But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. And as while men slept is when we didn't know that we were Israelites. Alright? When we were slaves, right? And the enemy is talking about Esau, Edom, the devil. Alright? Who sowed the wicked seeds into our women. Alright? Which, which it has, there are, there are tears among us who look like us. Alright? But they're not Israelites. Alright? They're actually Elamites. Alright? So verse 30, what the Lord said, let both, let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tears and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. Alright? And basically, I couldn't find it, but when the angels come, Right, when the angels come at the end of the, of the world, or actually, you know, here, verse 41, the sons of man shall send forth his angels and shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity. All things that offend, this to all those who change, who give unto change, you know, and change their DNA, all right, via this, what these waters, right, they're going to be off offensive to Yahabashim, Yahushai, to Yahushai, Mashiach, and the angels. Right, and they're gonna be set up, set aside, along with the tears, and burns in the fire, right? Which, which, which will become about through the ICBM nuclear missiles and the chariots, laying, laying waste to this place, all right? Because the scripture says what? Let's go back to First Corinthians 15, and verse 50. The scripture says what? Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Right, so flesh and blood can inherit the king. This flesh can inherit. We have to be changed, right? Neither does corruption inherit in corruption. All right. Right. Neither does corruption inherit in corruption. So how could corruption inherit in corruption? Corruption mean what? Meaning what? Corrupt in what? In the flesh, right? In spirit as well, because it, it is sin itself. But that alone is a sin by itself, a grave sin by itself, changing your 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 yourself. All right. You know, neither does corruption inherit in corruption. So those who do this, you know, through the spirit, all right, those who those who do those who do that and take those waters and take all these different types of waters that they bring in, all right, you know, and, and become what a GMO person, all right, you 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 have corruption, you have corrupted yourself, and it's more than likely, you know, you're gonna you're gonna take that that mark anyway. Alright, they're gonna take that what that revelation 13 and 16. Alright, because why? You know, these same waters now affect your body. They affect they affect your 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 your, your we have certain genes like the VMAT2 gene. You know, we have certain we have an active those in of us in the truth. The Lord open up our pineal gland, which is all about our spiritual eye, to see this truth. Alright? You know? 
So you 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 destroying yourself one time, and that that's the plan of E, right? You always seek to destroy destroy Jake, right, and strike him down from his excellency, right? So I'm gonna read go to Psalms. Let's go to Psalms, chapter sixty-four. And verse 2 it says hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity right secret counsel of the wicked what the, the elites the illuminati right from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity insurrection means from within all right you know and they use our own people to push this thing and what they what they want to corrupt you from they want to corrupt you from within all right who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. All right, that they may shoot in secret. That's the point. That's the power in secrecy, in the secrecy, right? That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly, do they shoot at him and fear not? All right, they encourage themselves in an evil matter, which is this, this thing, this technology, yeah, that evil thing. They commune of laying snares privately, privately. Who is? They say, who shall see them? All right, so this is this is they are gonna destroy you. All right, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. What the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Okay. And basically, you know, this is what they really want to do. This is Psalms 11, and verse 2 it says, "For lo, again the wicked bend their bow, precept upon precept. They make ready their arrow upon the string." That they may privately shoot, privately shoot at the upright, which is what Israel, in mind, in heart, right? And here this part, verse 3 says, If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? What are the foundations? Right, the foundations are your cells of your body, the DNA, right? The genes, the mitochondrion, right? So if these foundations be destroyed, when they, when they are changed, they're destroyed, what can the righteous do? You know, what can the righteous do? All right, verse, verse four says, "The Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai is in His holy temple." All right. Well, now, now the holy temple is not just talking about the temple that was built in Jerusalem, all right? The physical temple. It's talking about what the third temple, which is what the the body, the body of the Amashiach, the body. All right. But the body is the temple. All right, according to the scriptures. Let's bring in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 15. Alright, it reads, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of your Mashiach? Alright, so your body is the members of your your body is the, is the temple. Shall I then take the members of a Mashiach and make them members of a harlot? And that's what you're doing when you when you do this thing. When you when you take in those waters, right? What know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? And it's talking about a literal harlot, but you know, you know, you know, harlotry, harlotry basically it's just put into what mixing a seed, right? Mixing of what? Of DNA. Alright? Okay? Alright, so the Lord said what? The body is the temple. You know, we are the, we are the bodies of the Amashiach. We are the, we are the, Lord willing, we are the tabernacle of David being raised up. Alright? Israel, right? It's the temple. The Lord dwells within. Lord dwelt within his physical temple, you know, that was made with beams, stones, all right, all built to what a specification, right? The same way the Israelite body, which is the temple of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, is built, especially elect, you know, is built a specification with DNA sequencing, genes, chromosomes, you know, you know, you know, that's why they steal our organs, you know, because our organs are special, right? We are we are stronger, even though we, we corrupted by this world. You know, we, we in, in certain ways, we, we, the, the, our, our organs are still stronger, all right? The VMAT2 genes, active genes, you know, that make give us the connection with your Abashim, your Shai, all right? All right, so let's go First Corinthians 3 and verse 16, right? It reads, Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in you? Right, that's the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth in Jake. Right? If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. This is telling you straight. So all those who go about taking this stuff all right, and defile the temple, Yahbashim Yahshai is going to destroy you. Especially when you've been warned by the prophets, the men of the Lord on the highways and the byways and in these videos. All right? 
Lord is going to destroy you. Alright, for the temple of the Most High is holy. Which temple ye are. Alright. Which temple you are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in the world, in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. So you think that you're researching and you think that oh, this water is safe and that one's safe. And you know, none of them safe. Alright, verse 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. For it is written, he taketh the wise in his own craftiness. So the Lord is going to take them in their own craftiness. Alright? You know, in their own wisdom of this world. You know? The scripture says corruption can't inherit the kingdom. Okay? So when you go back to, 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 to Psalms 11. Alright? I'll read over from... I'll read over from um, I read over from verse 3, it says if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord, Yahweh Shem is in his holy temple, which is the, which is the body. Alright? The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Alright? So this, this wicked device that they that they that they plan in here, Yahweh Shem Yashai is gonna punish them for it. It is a wicked device. Alright, so Psalm 140 and 8 Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. Alright, lest they exalt themselves. Psalms 21 and verse 11. It reads, For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform, and they're not going to fully be able to perform it because the elect. Are gonna stand strong in your bashim your shy. Okay? You know these 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 devils, they are the wicked spirits working miracles. Alright? Let's get that in Revelation. Revelation 16 and verse 14. Alright? It says, For they are spirits of devils. Right? I mean, no, the devil is not talking about the spiritual angel Lucifer. It's talking about Esau Edom. Alright, they are the spirits of devils working miracles. You know, that's the that's the uh the 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 the, the um neural link, all right. You know that which enable them to control computers, all right. That's the 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 fun type of waters now they are bringing out here that we just went through in this lesson. Superhero waters, right? You know that's the super soldiers, right? Which go forth unto the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of the Most High Almighty, right? You know you know when the Lord is gonna play with them at the battle, you know, at the battle of Armageddon, right? In, you know, when the Lord gonna judge all flesh, okay. So they are the wicked spirits working miracles. You know, of course, we talk about the wicked technology, the artificial intelligence. You know, of course, we just talk about the genetic man manipulation. All right. And through these things, through these things, the scriptures say, prophesy and said what Revelation eighteen and twenty three that they deceived the whole world. Right, verse twenty three says. And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in the end. No, no more and where in Babylon the Great, America, right? And all the tributaries. And the voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. Right? There's going to be no mirth in this place. For thy merchants were the great men of the earth. Right? For by thy sorceries will all nations deceive. And that word sorcery, you know, as I like to go into, Alright, let's get that with sorcery. Which is what pharmacia, which is what the pharmaceuticals. Right? So these waters are part of the pharmaceuticals. Okay? So they deceive the whole world. Alright? You know, and you know, anyone the devil doesn't have anything good for you. You just deceive on yourself. If you think the devil have anything good for you, scripture say this devil, you know, if he do, does any good, he does it unwillingly. This is Sirach 14 and verse 7. It says, And if he doeth good, he doth it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. Alright? Okay? So this, this, this devil, the scripture say, Never trust thine enemy. Alright? Never trust an enemy. So this world is out of course. Alright? This whole world is out of course. It's out of whack. 
all right but yeah bashim your shy it's gonna it's gonna cleanse it he's gonna do his great reset they think they're gonna do a reset but really how bashim your shy is the one who's gonna do a reset and it's gonna eliminate all these manner of wickedness so with that i pray that this lesson has been edifying through the spirit of your bashim your shy I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Wa Abad Babal, destruction unto Babylon. Shalom.